society obviously also makes you peaceful part of the reason you're peaceful right now, all of you, is because while well, you're not that hungry you're certainly not starving to death, you would be a very, very different person if you were starving right now you know, or if you were enraged, or if you were panicking, or if you were terrified because your, your future was radically uncertain I mean, you're just not any of those people right now you're a satiated, and I mean that technically, you're satisfied none of your biological systems, except perhaps curiosity which is a rather pleasant emotion are activated in the least and, you know, because of that you all think, well, you're in control of yourself but don't be thinking that, that's just not right I mean, if you look at how the brain is structured, for example the hypothalamus, which is a really important part of the brain it basically, it basically establishes the framework of reference and the actions the framework of reference within which and the actions you take in order to fulfill basic biological needs so the hypothalamus makes you thirsty, and the hypothalamus makes you hungry, and it makes you sexually aroused and it, it puts you into a state of defensive aggression, and it, it actually also makes you explore and be curious all of that's hypothalamic, it's an amazing structure and then, and, and it's really small and it's right at the base of the brain um, and you can imagine it as something that has tremendously powerful projections upward throughout the rest of the brain into the emotional systems and the cortical systems and all of that like tree trunk sized connections, you know, metaphorically speaking and then the cortex has these little like vine like tendrils going down to regulate the hypothalamus, you know, and if it's, when push comes to shove man, the hypothalamus, that thing wins and so, you know, you get people now and then who have a hypothalamic dysfunction, and one of them produces a condition called um, I can't remember it, it's not dipsomania although it's, it, it's like that, it doesn't matter it produces uncontrollable thirst and so what will happen is that people who have this hypothalamic problem will drown themselves by drinking water, which, which you can do by the way uh, and so they just cannot get enough water and there's no stopping them, right? No, no more than there would be stopping you if you were suffering from raging thirst it's like, it's a happy day when the hypothalamus is not telling you what to do and you know, you live in such a civilized state that most of the time, roughly speaking, you're tranquil and satisfied and m more or less you can imagine yourself as a peaceful, you know, productive, well-meaning entity but don't be thinking that that's what you'd be if you were put in the right situation, because that's just not right at all.